This video is going over how to solve simultaneous equations using matrices. It's really mostly relevant for the Mathematics HL course. Okay, so the first thing I do, I've got a calculator document open, and I'll press this button down here. And if you only had two equations and two unknowns, you could probably use this matrix here, a two by two matrix. In our example, um, we have a three by three matrix, so I'm gonna use this one here. So I press on that. Now you've got number of rows, number of columns, and you can put whatever um, you want to in these. So like, for instance, if we had four rows, I'd move this up or further if you have more. And then columns you can change as well. In our example, it actually is a three by three matrix, so I'll leave it at that and press OK. And so here is the model of my matrix. So now I'm gonna enter all my coefficients. The X coefficients go here for either all three equations. The y coefficient in the middle term, the z coefficient in the last term. So we'll do 3 across negative 2 across 1 across across. Now I'm back where I wanted to be. Okay, 2, 7, 2 across 7 across negative 3. And the last one was 6. 1 and finally 1. I'll get out. So now that I'm outside, I can enter my um, power. So I want to push the power button and put it to the power of negative 1. So that will work out the inverse. Okay. Now I'm going to add another vector. So I'll press the same button down here again. And I'm going to use the matrix again, but this time Yes, the number of rows is three, but I only want one column, so I might bring that down. So now I'm down to just one column, press OK. And there it is there, so here I'm going to put eight, 11, 10. Go across and then press Enter. And the answer that you get are actually your X, Y, and Z values, or what other um, variables that you have. So your answer to your simultaneous equations is x equals 103 over 30, y equals negative 83 over 30, and z equals negative 47 over 6.